So another thing I wanted to point out here is the grooves that you see here on the uh, crankshaft sprocket um, not only drives the uh, timing chain, right, which drives your camshaft sprocket, which we are converting to an LS3 style sprocket. So why this is important is this sprocket is much simpler than the variable valve timing sprocket that uh, came with the original Gen 5 LT4s. So instead of this one sprocket, uh, let me go get the other piece and I'll show you. Instead of this one tiny sprocket, right? You've got this huge, um, much, much heavier variable valve timing uh, setup, which essentially inside here has got uh, the ability to vary the timing. So, so there's some variable adjustment in here um, with the use of some sensors and electronics and uh, some also some uh, slots that are in here that allow it to slide three degrees advanced, three degrees retard. Um, but that originally mounted here, which uh, is much, much heavier rotating mass, which clearly reducing rotating mass makes a, makes a big, big difference in performance. Um, but it also reduces complexity. There's no moving parts. This is just a solid sprocket. And this actually, if you take this apart, um, you can see here there are some actual, uh, some hex screws here, uh, five hex screws. When this comes apart, there are uh, several pieces to this um, that uh, make it actually a little, little bit complex in how it works and there's not a lot of room for, for error there either. There, there's a kit you can buy. Um, you can do this two ways to get rid of variable valve timing. You can buy the new LME billet timing plate uh, and that comes with this sprocket which essentially does away with all of the variable valve timing electronics. But you gotta buy that as a kit or you can disassemble this system here, this variable valve timing stock piece, and insert a key lock inside that essentially prevents it from rotating at all, rotating that three degrees advanced retard. So it essentially locks it in place. But the problem with that is, is you know, you're sort of, it's sort of a hack. It's not really a, to me, a very sound way of, um, you know, getting rid of variable valve timing, especially on a $100,000 car. I mean, you, you're, you're putting just a chunk of uh, metal in a slot that is blocking the, the valve timing from moving. So to me, that's not really sound. And that was really the only way to do it originally, but now they've got these nice billet covers that are CNC machined that do away with the actuator, which pushes in on that uh, camshaft uh, bolt and actuates the um, the uh, retard or timing or advance uh, in the timing mechanism in this sprocket. But but the main thing is this is heavy as hell, bad. Anytime that's rotating, that's that's not good. And there's a lot of moving parts to it. So that's what I wanted to explain. Is that doing away with all of that complexity to a single timing chain to a single sprocket. Um, makes a whole lot more sense, makes it a whole lot more reliable with a lot more horsepower. Um, and uh, that was, uh, I wanted to touch on that. So the second thing I wanted to touch on was the oil pump. So the LT4s and LT1s come with a, a essentially a dual pressure oil pump. And you can see there are two, essentially two veins, uh, two pumps inside here that are driven by these um, by these gears inside here that have little notches in them. And those notches align here with uh, the crankshaft notches. So you've got to align each one, right, with that crankshaft 
uh, notch. Um, and then you got to align the second one. And that'll slide right on, of course, uh, you know, if you get the notches lined up clearly. Um, but I don't really want to do that yet because I want to install the cam. We'll get to this later. But what I will show you is that when we install this oil pump, there is a very uh, specific way of doing that um, where you want to essentially uh, use some, uh, some shims to ensure that, all, that these, these veins are centered exactly around the shaft. You don't want it to be sort of pushed a little bit hair or gravity pulling down on it and it being a little bit lower on the top versus the bottom. Um, that causes premature wear and can cause issues down the line. So, um, so that is uh, what I wanted to explain. And that's really all that you're uh, doing here um, with the front uh, behind the timing cover. So um, not too much behind there once we remove the variable valve timing. So I um, wanted to touch on that. All right.